They asked me to drive a van. I hadn't, I worked a little bit when I was a kid. I grew up in church and I would help with the buses then. I would go knock on the doors when we'd pull up. And so I started driving a van and, and I've been here ever since. And I kept telling the Lord, you know, uh, show me a sign. If you want me to drive a bus for a church, you need to show me a sign. That went on about three weeks and then I was sitting there in the service one morning, he asked again. And, all of a sudden, this voice said, oh, you dummy, you've got your driver's license. Why do I have to beg you to do the job? I kept saying, you know, I'm not equipped to do this. But, but God told me, he said, I don't call the equipped. I, I equip the called. The current is very sweet church. Um, you get to meet people that you don't know, and you kind of make new friends but that's not what's important right now. What's important is learning God's Word. And once you get to learn God's Word and learn more, then you can go about your friends. It's probably one of, you know, it's probably one of the most rewarding things they can do because, you know, we all need to come to church and worship the Lord for our salvation and, and be a part of that but you know he wants us to get plugged into the body of Christ and, and find some place and I believe God is calling he called me uh, he melted me and, and I raised my hand and uh, there was 120 people there and, and I was the only one that was really felt called by the Lord to do that job of driving the bus so I know he's calling people to various parts of ministry and uh, when, you, when you obey that call, you know, you, you will know you're doing right by the Lord and you're doing what He's called you to do. It's a, it's a blessing. It's not an easy job. It's, it's not something you're going to get a lot of glory for. I'm not in it for the glory, you know. If you, if you want to be in the type of ministry to glorify you, you don't want to be a van driver. You know, it's not easy. Sometimes you get people on there that aren't in a good mood, sometimes you're not in a good mood, you know, but I'll tell you, one of, uh, it was a very trying night when I was driving a van. I had a full load and it was just a rough night. Had people that, that uh, weren't happy on the van. But after we got to church that night, I watched a lady and her daughter go up to the altar and give her heart to God. And it right there makes it worth it. It makes it worth it to go and drive when you don't feel like it, to drive when you do feel like it. That's what driving a van's about. 